hear that? Just that just not good sound. Throw these windows up. That's awesome. Hey guys, back with another video. Um, believe we will be replace. I believe we will be replacing our window motor today. Um, when I roll this window down, it squeaks pretty damn bad, and it's annoying. So let me use this as an example. I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the uh, key in the ignition. And it should roll down with no problem. But when it rolls back up, that's the issue. See? Nice and smooth, nice and quiet. And that thing squeals loud. So we're going to keep it down because we're going to probably need it down to expose the, the uh, bolts. Now, if you guys seen my last video, how I replaced the rear speakers, the, removing the door is almost the same way. Just want to pull this up and there's two 10 mils in here so let's get on that second reason why you're uh trying not to break it Oof, there the second reason why your window might not work is is this actual unit right here if this unit fails when you roll up and down the window it won't work You'll just pretty much a, a little nice way to fi figure out how to get a new one. I'll take this off real quick. Let's remove all, all these connections. They're all different sizes too, so we don't even have to remember them, thankfully. There you go. Put that tab up. There you go. Whew. My goodness. Firm. Okay, and last one is right here. This one just get a little flathead, kind of tilt up. Don't bend it too much. There we go. Like I said, if you ever needed to, you can actually look here, look at the part number. You can order it off eBay or something like that. I found what the problem is. The problem is this. This is broken. Down here, the access port right there. Magnet. Now, I like to pull up here first. There's a little trim, a little trim liner that this sits on. And then a little metal tab, pop that out. Now we can begin to start <clears throat> popping off that door. There we go. We are breaking shit. That's nice. I'm trying to be as gentle as possible. And just like that, it's out. Oh, this woofer too. So, and if you guys are wondering, I'm not gonna replace this front speaker because woofers are expensive. This woofer actually does bang pretty good. So, I'm not going to mess with this front speaker. Just like that, pop it out. And we're just going to pop you off. Pop you out right here. Just pull out. Ah, there we go. Of course, I broke it. Yep, tab right here, broke off in there, whatever. Now, 
you gotta get some uh this actually comes off pretty easy usually you have to use like a little putty knife or something but this is coming off without much without much force so i'm just gonna pull this little trim off too remember to put that back and just keep pulling away i don't want to pull it completely off but pull it off most of the way and just like that we are exposing the window motor now don't just replace the motor replace the regulator replace everything just do it the right way the first time now i am interested to see why it's squealing so bad i want to know if the squealing is coming from the motor or it's coming from one of the blades or if it's coming from the wind from here because i sprayed this with silicone spray so let's see something no that sound is horrible okay let's get it off this is held in with a tin yep and we're just going to loosen this you don't have to completely remove it just loosen it like that Get our tin right here. Loosen it just like that. You have to remove this. When you, once we loosen these up, we can actually pull this up by hand. And we can. There we go. Now, just pull this up. Okay, I'm just using this to hold the window up. It's, it's nice and sitting in place, so I don't want to touch it right now. Let's remove this number 10 as well. If you're not 100% sure where to go, just follow the rails. Maybe we remove this bottom. Yep, and it's going to be about right here. Simply push down here. Just like that. Now, basically going to lift it up out of its brackets. And then now, it should be ready to come out. That should be the last thing holding it up. Huh? Now, what you can do here is bring it down sideways and pull it out. And that right there is our old one. Yeah, it greased up, so be careful. But it should go in just like this. I'm gonna drop it in place. And just like that. Now we actually gotta remove these. Here, just guide it. Boom. Just like that. Here. I have to remove this tin. Right on here which is a new 8 mil.
Now, let's move, remove this and push the window up. And out. Good. Now let this window down nice and smoothly onto these tabs and onto this tab. This tab needs to be opened up for some reason. Now, make sure these tabs are all the way in on both sides. I know it's tough to see here, but same concept on both sides. Okay, now let's pinch them together. Get our tab. All right. And same test. There you go. Oh, it's so much smoother. Nice. Now, with everything properly reinstalled, it's really just simply tuck that back in. Ain't gotta be perfect. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think that goes like that. Just uh, line it back up. Make sure all the wires are sticking out. And this right there, sitting all in its trim. As long as you push it back in place, it, it should stick for the most part. It's all right if it doesn't. Once we put everything back together, it'll be fine. This stuff wasn't very adhesive at all. Oh wait, there we go. Better, okay. Like I said, if you guys wanna replace this woofer, I would, uh, re you know, you're gonna need something big. It's a big woofer, so. I'm not gonna replace this. This actually works pretty good. Um, if anybody's wondering, hey, what, what does a woofer do? Uh, a woofer simply plays low, uh, low bass. This is really just your bass speaker. So if you want to find a woofer this size, go crazy. Woofers are pretty expensive, so I'm going to leave this here. Just like that. Works perfectly. Beautiful. lock there you go so everything's working so we're good to go thanks for watching you guys till next time i'm out